So, uh, where's the scoop that Dylan had? I put it there. I still. So now we're gonna make our cookies sides. Yep, yeah, so you're gonna press it all the way. You can probably use your hand. Yeah, but it has to bake in the oven. So it's all going to like, with the butter in there, it should mush together maybe. Or we might have just wasted $50 on a pile of cookie crumble. Well, I'm just wondering if I can make sides around this too. I don't know. I don't think that's gonna work. It kind of just looks like a wall. Because as, as soon as you heat it up, it's gonna get soft again. Because you have to cook it and then you have to cool it. So I think that that's too much. Mine is good. I think yours needs a little more. Break it? Yeah. Maybe you should get some clean pans, pans? like uh, pizza pans, the 12 inch ones. Uh, I don't know what 12 inch ones. These? Yeah, that's, no, that's 14. I don't have any smaller ones. Should be. to spray the pans so typically you should probably spray the pans with a like a butter spray or a non-stick cooking spray we didn't do that but hopefully that these brand new wilton pans will, will um, allow the cookie to come out when we tip it over and hopefully it doesn't break so uh, perhaps we should have just did like an eight inch cookie instead of like a 12 inch cookie because it Can might still be really clean. Yeah. You just want to eat that, don't you? Yeah. Looks like ice cream. That's what I said. So this is what it looks like, 14 packages of Oreo cookies when you take out the center. What do you think, Dylan? Is our cookie gonna work? Say yes, make us feel better. <laughs> <laughs> or do you think it's just gonna fall apart when we take it out? Well, it starts to bake, right? Might get it to work. Might. Oh my god, that was 
Well, it depends if this helps hold it. Well, it's for us, it's making sure that when we take the cookie out of this pan, that it's still going to be a round cookie. Because when they make Oreo cookies, they're pressed. It's a damn triangle as long as it sticks. <laughs> hey, that's mine. Sorry. I'm just pushing the cookie out of the pan when I do it. So now we're gonna to try to bake these. We're making a big cookie, Brooklyn. Cookie! <laughs> so this is our project for today. And we're on YouTube, so now you're on YouTube. Okay. So this was the plan was to try to make a 14 inch or, or 12 inch Oreo cookie. So we just opened 14 packages of Oreo cookies. No, we opened way too many. Though. Yeah, well, we still have all of these ones still. Oh, wow. So let's put it in the oven. And somebody's got to watch the time because it's only supposed to be in there. We have timers. Oh, So what are we going to do with the rest? I wonder what these would taste like in a spud nut. You could put them on both cookies. Good. Like we still have 14 packages of cookies. Well, 12 that we have to do something with. Give them to your children. A package! I don't have 12 children, thank you. Two packs each! So, yeah. Maybe we can re rethink the whole Wookiee cookie formula. And we can just mash all these no. up into the thing. Well, maybe. Make a new kind of Wookiee cookie. It could be no, just, just in case. Already done. Just in case, you can redo it. We still have enough cookie here to make like four more cookies. I told you, Ashley, we should have only got six packages. So we're just waiting on that to cook. And the icing we're going to have to thin out a little bit, I think, to spread it. For now, we'll leave. We'll leave it at that, and we'll do another segment once we get ready to start putting the cookie together. <laughs>